Hey Mac fans, with macOS Tahoe version 26, released September 15, 2025, now out, and macOS Sequoia version 15 from 2024, still a solid option, you're probably wondering, do I update for the shiny new features or stick with the stability I know? Sequoia feels polished and reliable, while Tahoe brings fresh design flair and AI boosts, but with some early bugs. In this comparison, I'll break down the key differences, pros and cons, and my verdict to help you decide. Whether you're a power user or casual surfer, let's dive in. For a quick evolution overview, Mac OS Sequoia was built on Sonoma's foundation with iPhone mirroring, which control your iPhone from your Mac and improved window tiling for multitasking. It supports Intel Macs from 2018 and all Apple Silicon, emphasizing ecosystem integration and security. Then enter Mac OS Tahoe, Apple's 2025 release, named after Lake Tahoe, shifts toward a liquid glass aesthetic inspired by iPad OS with translucent frosted elements and more playful icons. It's the last OS for Intel Macs, which has no support beyond this, pushing users toward M-series hardware. Tahoe amps up Apple intelligence, AI features like live translation and messages or FaceTime, and continuity, but requires macOS Sequoia for upgrades. File sizes? Tahoe's installer is larger, approximately 14 gigabytes, versus Sequoia's approximately 12 gigabytes, so plan for that download. Here's a side-by-side -side on the biggest changes focusing on design, features, and performance. Let's categorize each section, starting from their design or user interface. Now with macOS Sequoia, which has clean, minimal with rounded corners, toolbar at top, widgets are static, while on the macOS Tahoe has liquid glass overhaul, translucent menus, frosted backgrounds, chunkier control center toggles, bottom toolbar, which is controversial, icons toned down like the disk utility, much more simpler, folder colors and emojis for personalization. Moving on with their artificial intelligence features, macOS Sequoia has basic Apple intelligence features such as writing tools and image generation, while on the macOS Tahoe has expanded feature like live translation, a real-time text and speech in messages, FaceTime, new phone app, shortcuts with AI actions, and image playground with chat GPT styles. Now, how do they play with your iPhone? Sequoia introduces iPhone mirroring. Open your iPhone apps right on your Mac. It's magic. Tahoe takes it further. Drag files between devices like they're one machine. Use your Mac to control iPhone apps more smoothly. It's not just mirroring, it's merging. Productivity. How do you get work done? Sequoia gives you smart window tiling. Snap apps into place with a click. Spotlight search is fast and accurate. Tahoe adds interactive widgets. Tap one to check the weather, control music, or run a shortcut. No need to open apps. And for developers and gamers, Tahoe brings Metal 4. Faster graphics, smoother gameplay, and tools that make coding feel next level. Compatibility. Who can run it? Here's a big one. Sequoia supports Intel Macs from 2018 and newer, plus all Apple Silicon. Tahoe runs on the same hardware, but here's the catch. This is the last Mac OS for Intel Macs. Apple is gently pushing everyone toward M-series chips. If you're on an older Mac, Tahoe works, but it's the end of the line. Security and updates? Both are safe and supported. Sequoia gets security patches for at least two more years. Tahoe gets the same, plus all the new features. You're not missing safety by updating. So what's the real world feel? On Sequoia, everything just works. It's stable, light on resources, and perfect for daily use. Tahoe is exciting, but it's new. The transparency can make text hard to read on busy wallpapers. The bottom toolbar feels odd at first, and on older Macs, animations might slow things down a bit. But on an M2 or M3, it flies. Which one's your pick?
comment below. Like if this cleared up the hype. Subscribe for more OS deep dives and catch you next time. Cheers.